All right, hello everyone. Great to see you again. So this is the 9th of February on Tuesday. So today um, this is a recorded video, and I would like to remind about the uh, how we can differentiate between the range and trend market because um, um, this is very important topic. This is critical um, how you can identify the range or trend market. So. Um, this was actually a topic from yesterday. I posted, uh, I was actually doing the live stream yesterday and I was talking about it. And also, in my past videos and lives, I have talked about how you can differentiate between a trend and range market. And today, um, I would like to mention about that again. I want to recall uh, that this part again because uh, recently uh, I've seen uh, my strategy post on, uh, like, uh, on internet. Uh, this uh, KTS strategy or the way I look at Ichimoku is very unique because I am a trend follower and I only take trades where there's a, there's a trend in the market by Ichimoku 5 lines and if Ichimoku 5 lines show its range then I don't take trade and I've seen a couple posts on Twitter and also like YouTube also and also um, I've seen this post on the trading view so today I would like to pick uh, one of the posts in trading view and uh, I would like to correct the way you identify the range and trending market so that uh, people won't misunderstand. So uh, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my own expression knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk. So here is the post that I found on TradingView and this is posted by uh, DataFX and this post is, uh, you know, he made it very nice actually, he made it very nice. I think the, yeah, the left is a 4-hour chart and the right is a 30-minute chart and this is AUDUSD which was posted on the 5th of February and uh, so he says this is downtrending because um, he mentions that the uh, the Kumo Senko Span A is down and the Kijun Sen is down and Chikou Span below the candles and he mentions that this is downtrending and I would say that the angles are okay I mean this uh, Senko Span A is down and the Kijun Sen down and Chikou Span below the candles so and this is bearish Kumo this is bearish Kumo so um, it seems like this is the downtrend but actually this is not true. So the reason is because um, this Senko Span A is downwards. If you see only this part, the angle of Senko Span A, it points downwards. But to me this is still flat Kumo because uh, overall Kumo is basically flat. So in this case, uh, this is actually uh, something that I mentioned on yesterday's live stream as well. But um, I would wait for this previous single span A breakout. I would wait for the previous single span A breakout downwards, and also uh, single span B possibly should point downwards too, so that uh, as a whole that Kumo will become downtrend, and then. Uh, this um yeah chikou span is below the candles and this is okay this part is okay and the price is be below the kijun sen so this is okay too and this is in four hour chart on the left this is in four hour chart so it was a nice downtrend if if uh, if you see this setup in the future then that will be a great timing to look for the sale chance in lower time frames and then um looking at this a uh, 30 minute chart I can see that this is flat ranging because the Kumo flat, we see the Senko span BA flat and the Kijun Sen flat and Chikou span below the candles. So I will say that this is a range market. So for me, I would wait until either Senko span A or B down and Kijun Sen points downwards to look for the sell chance. And I won't take trades where the range market in one hour or 30 minute chart. So for me, this is flat in 30 minute chart. And what's more, and this is the topic for today, but in 4 hour chart, as a higher time frame, this is flat ranging to me. So, um, yeah, so it's got, uh, it's got, the, he's got a nice description over here. And I think as so far, that's the only uh, 
correction that I would like to mention so that uh, people won't misunderstand uh, the way to look at these Ichimoku lines to, uh, to capture whether the market is trending or ranging. So uh, yeah, it looks like there are a couple of comments that are very encouraging. So yeah, for me, I will, I'm, uh, I'm very happy to see these comments uh, for uh, DataFX for his contributions. So I think the only thing that I would like to mention was the Senkospan A angle. So um, yeah, so once again, in this case, the market might go upwards. Well, actually, this isn't a P wave, first of all. This isn't a P wave. I call it in a P wave because the lows are getting higher and the highs are getting lower in a P wave structure. And when it's in the P wave, I look for the sell chance um, when Kijun Sen comes below the Tenkan Sen. So I think in this case, this uh, uh, brown line is a Kijun Sen, and the blue one is called Tenkan Sen. But I can see that the Tenkan Sen is overlapping or almost gold crossing the Kijun Sen. So in the P wave, in this in this P wave confirmations by Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, um, I don't think this is a great timing to sell. I mean to look for a sell. And in fact, after this, what happened was that the uh, the market went upwards. I th I think I can forward it. Yeah. So uh, it created the double bottom, and the market went upwards now. And now this is bullish trend. And this is because the the Kumo was not really downtrending yet so so yeah this is what's happening on the euro uh aud usc in this flower chart it's uptrending now and now this is still flat to me because um i see kumo flat we i can see that the this uh, senko span b is flat and senko span a is flat kijun sen flat and also kijun sen is in the kumo here now so this is the flat kijun sen and Chikou span is okay. Chikou span of all the candles is okay, but in terms of direction, in terms of this uh, direction of the trend, this is flat ranging. So in this case, I also wait until the Kumo goes up and Kijun Sen goes up, uh, breaks this Kumo upwards, and then look for buy chance along the way. So I hope that makes sense to you. And so let me check a couple of other charts for now and see which one's ranging trending uh, in, a, in a daily chart. So Euro USD is right in the Kumo here, so it's range completely. I won't look for any uh, trade chances. Euro AUD. Alright, so Euro AUD uh, daily chart shows that this is downtrending. And the reason is because the Kumo looks to be flat. But I can see that the single span A broke the previous single span A level downwards now. So this difference is very important. Uh, you have to see the single span A breakout, then uh, also the Kijun Sen is pointing down, Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span below the candles. So for me, this is bearish. So today's bullish candle and also resisted by this trend line uh, but uh, if the market breaks downwards this way then I expect the market continue to go down this way so that in that sense I look for the sell chance in lower time frames on this particular market so um, what else we can find euro pound uh, this is flat ranging because the Kumo flat I mean this is a spawn BA flat and Kijun Sen flat so it's retracing backwards and it might come back to Kijun Sen so I won't look for sell chance with this one I mean it's not the great timing to look for the sell chance and Euro JPY completely in the range everything is flat Kij uh, and so Chikou Spine is overlapping with the candles so this is not the good time to sell or buy and uh, yeah so this one also Euro CAD so Euro CAD this is to me also the range market because I think this is pretty much the same as the example on this uh, AUD USD on this post 
but um, yeah, Euro CAD daily chart shows that this is flat because we see Senko span B flat and Senko span A is pointing downwards technically on the tip of the Senko span A is downwards and also Kijun Sen is pointing downwards too so you might think that this is downtrending but for me this is range because the whole Kumo is range and what's more uh, the, the previous Senko span A hasn't been broken yet if it breaks and if the market continue to go down without and also chikou span without touching the chikou span if the market goes down this way then um, i will look for sell chance afterwards and expect the market breaks the previous low but for now this is the range so in this case this kijun sen angle and the single span a angle become fake and the market can come back to either um, kijun sen or all the way up to Kumo. It might break Kumo too and comes back to Kumo afterwards because it's in the range market as a whole picture. So hopefully um, you can understand what I mean by this single span A, B angle and Kijun Sen angles. So this is very tricky but uh, hopefully you can get used to the way I look at the charts and be able to identify which one's trending, which one's ranging so that um, you can at a glance know which market to take trades. So lastly, uh, yesterday on this uh, live stream yesterday, how to differentiate trend and range market. Um, if you missed this live stream, please watch this one and enjoy my analysis as well because this was exactly the topic that I was talking about yesterday. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream and if you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. So tomorrow is Wednesday, so I will hope to see you tomorrow either on live or video. So until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Matane. Matane means see you in Japanese. So. またね。バイバイ